The Zcash Swing Wallet, a graphical user interface wallet wrapper for Zcash. We're going to want to start off by going to the Vaklinov GitHub page. We're going to want to scroll down till we find our instructions here. I'm going to open the terminal. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create the build directory. We're going to want to type in make directory, mkdir, space, tilde, the little squiggly dash, backslash, build, dash, dir, hit enter. Then type in cd, space, tilde, the little squiggly dash, backslash, build, dash, dir, hit enter. Now we'll copy the first command here. Paste it in the terminal, hit enter. Type in your password, hit enter, type in Y for yes, hit enter. This will install the dependencies that we need to install the Zcash Swing Wallet. Now that's done, we'll build from the source code. We'll copy the git clone command. Copy. We'll paste that into the terminal. Hit enter. Now we'll change the directory. Copy the change directory command. Paste it into the terminal. Hit enter. Now we'll issue the build command. Copy the ant command. Paste it into the terminal. Hit enter. Now we're going to make the jar file executable. So we're going to copy the chmod command, paste it in the terminal, hit enter. Now what we need to do is we need to copy that jar file into the zcash src directory. So we're going to go into the zcash swing wallet directory, go into the build folder, to go into the jars folder, and then copy the zcash swing wallet ui.jar file. Then we're going to backtrack out of there, back to the home folder, go into the Zcash folder, then the SRC folder, and we're going to paste the file into here. I'm just going to check to make sure that it was made executable. Looks good. Allow executing file. So now we can go ahead and run the program. We have to make sure that we're running Zcash D first. Mine's already running, but if you don't have yours running, Copy or type in cd space zcash backslash and hit enter. And then copy or type in the run command dot backslash src backslash zcash d space dash d-a-e-m-o-n and then hit enter. It says mine can't start. That's okay. I know mine's already running. So I'm going to close that. Close this folder. Now to start the wallet, all we have to do is right click on the jar file and select open with open JDK 8 runtime. Now it's open. The wallet's running. You can take a look at the wallet. I'll close everything else up. Here's where all of your transactions will be shown. I don't have any yet, of course, because I just installed the wallet. Here we can see the addresses. These will be the addresses you created in Zcash. This is how you send cash. When you have cash in a wallet, it will show up in the send cash from area. If there's no balance in any of the addresses, it won't show up. So you can put your destination address, little memo, amount to send, and press the send button to send it. It makes it very easy. You can back up your wallet by going to wallet and backup. Save backups of your wallet just in case if something happens. And that's about it. Remember to update your wallet and your addresses when the official Zcash launches on the 28th. And you should be good to go. So I hope you liked the video. I hope it helped. And thanks for watching.